everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful, beautiful world of Zudesia. And oh my goodness, oh look at the pop pups. They're just jumping around. Iris, he's a good girl. We're all just playing out in the front yard, getting ready to just admire the day and admiring how little Bigfoot, who was donated once again by Kath and Lumot, has grown. So we took some of the puppy's uh, treats. And actually, Iris, who's a good girl, you earned some treats yesterday for not climbing on my kitchen counter, didn't you? Yeah, you did. But yes, we've been admiring this big boy it's little bigfoot and little bigfoot has grown again so we managed to feed him lots of bones so that all of the aggressive attacks from werewolves and all sorts of creatures um you know what maybe we should uh potentially put like a little gate around him because i didn't know it but yes yes hostile mobs can actually attack attack oops we're looking at a dog butt there Pardon us. <laughs> but hostile mobs can actually attack our our fossils. So when we get our museums built and when we sprinkle fossils throughout to the amazing realms that we have, then we're going to need to really make sure that um, we have some guards and things like that. Pine, why do I keep accidentally almost looking at your butt? Honestly, that's very silly, Pine. Totally inappropriate behavior, my little pop pop. But all right, so today, everybody, we have something very exciting to do. We are actually, oh, Lily, oh, sorry, I'm so distracted with my dogs. I just want to, like, snuggle all of them. Oh, it's a good day. And I actually have a whole bunch of cooked pork chops who were, that were uh, sold to me by Junior and JJ. And uh, one of Junior and JJ's friends, I think one of the few villagers who's not named, actually sells cooked pork chops, too. So it's, like, a really great local spot to get some nice... Uh, some nice cheap food for my my pup pups. So let's see. Um, oh, but today, 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 darling puppies, you keep distracting me. We are going to go meet. Are you ready for this? We're going to go meet our duck rangers. I'm so excited. So as you guys know, you were amazing and helped me so that we were able to feed our ducks some very special breeding, breeding like feed snacks. And we ended up with 16, 16. And ducklings! Do you know what? That's just so many ducklings! And actually, the average mallard, because all of our ducks over at Memorial Pond are mallards, the most common duck in the world, thought to be the ancestor of all ducks. They actually interbreed with many species of wild duck and domestic duck. But yeah, the mallard is actually the um, ancestor, or thought to be the ancestor, of all modern ducks, which is really interesting. And as time goes on, I really hope that we will be able to study and research more duck species. I am seriously thinking about um, learning a little bit of Minecraft modding myself, so we could add in more of the models and more of the animals of the amazing natural world that we want to investigate further. So I'm pretty excited about that. But it's going to be a huge project, so don't hold your breath. <laughs> you can wish me luck, though. But yes, the mallard is currently the duck that we are focusing on. And actually, um, it only has the coloring of the female mallards. The male mallards are much more colorful. Also, I learned a cool fact. A female mallard is often known as a Susie. And a male mallard is often known as a greenhead because of their the greenhead coloring on most mallards. But enough babbling about mallards. So... Well, actually, I love babbling about mallards, so you're probably going to hear more of it in just a second. <laughs> learn, learn, my interns. Whoops, did I just... Okay, good, I didn't destroy the floor. But yes, so you guys were amazing, and so many of you had ideas for, like, the being the duck ranger. And in the end, I picked three duck rangers uh, with the help of the random generator because I just couldn't decide. You guys wrote poems. You guys wrote stories. So many of you remembered who my precious cinnamon was, my wonderful horse who passed away and she has her memorial gazebo over oh iris wow that was really fast you just kind of snuck back there are you telling me you want me to pick these gooseberries here we go do you want some gooseberries iris actually i don't know if dogs should eat gooseberries so i'm gonna pick that back up <laughs> i know i had a dog a great dane who loved bananas but i don't know about gooseberries but yes yeah, so i wasn't able to pick just one duck ranger because you guys had way too many amazing suggestions so i lined up all the names and i used the random generator and we ended up with three because i wanted to try to put as many duck rangers in there as possible and so now we have three three 
see duck rangers inside of our duck memorial pond. So let's go meet the people who are going to be protecting our mallards from any further any further uh, harassment by any of the mobs. Since, as you guys recall, a lot of our birds were dying from wolves that would come up right here and they'd just reach over the fence and go nom 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 and eat our ducks, which was awful. So here we go. Look at this beautiful pond. Isn't it lovely? And it's so fun to have ducks here again. It is just so exciting to actually have ducks here. Here's Dewey. And I wrote down all of the names that you guys suggested and named as many of the ducks as we had. Oh, look. And actually, I had recorded all of this before, just so you guys know. But it turns out my audio was incorrectly hooked up, which is why this one is late. But we went to the market day even, and I got a whole bunch of big fish. So now we have some proper fish swimming around with our ducks in here. And it just looks so fantastic. Doesn't that just look amazing? I love it. I love it. And you can see our little ducks just like, and the fish in the background. Oh, so cool. Who are you, Miss Duck Duck? Oh, you're Huey. We have Huey, Dewey, and Louie, as well as Donald. And who are you? Let me see if... It's Reader! And there's Reader. Mr. Crackers is here. Uh, Duckus the Fourth is here. And so are our three park rangers. So let me introduce you guys, and then I'll show you some other things that have changed inside of the amazing Duck Memorial Pond. This is Ranger Ashley. Hello, Ranger Ashley. So she is actually named after... I want to say Teddy? I can't remember quite, but I know that the proper name for this person is Ashley, and I love what she's got. So basically, the rangers are not your usual uh, intern NPCs. They aren't really traders, and they're not really educators. They're protectors of the forest. Oh, who are you? You're so cute. There's Reader again and Huey. There you go. Come on. Oh, such cute ducks. <gasps> There's a duck over here, too. Are you stuck? Are you okay? Okay, it's okay. But yes, so Ashley, look at how noble she is up there. Look at her. She's like, I will protect these ducks. Look at how noble that is. That's awesome. But Ashley is actually carrying a hiking stick that is really a wooden glaive. So it's a hidden, a hidden weapon. And she is going to make sure that anybody who tries to come in and mess with our ducks is going to be dealt with swiftly. And she's going to bonk them on the head and throw them back out, hopefully. So if you speak with Ashley, let's see, duck eggs are surprisingly large. When the female lays her clutch, she may lay as many eggs as half her body weight, which is true. So the average mallard clutch is about 1 to 13 eggs, which I thought was really interesting. Because that's a lot of eggs, but you know there's all sorts of creatures who want to eat your eggs. So that's one of the reasons why you might have so many babies. Look at those big old fish. That's just the coolest thing. We're going to have to buy more fish on market day today. But Ashley dutifully watches over her ducks. And she carries her really awesome hiking stick. And she'll kind of hum and sing to them. And then we also have Ranger Sebastian. So Sebastian actually also has a hiking stick that he can poke any, any aggressive mobs that might come in and try to mess with our ducks. And he also actually has ducks in real life. He has two mandarin ducks and two wood ducks in real life. And he lives in South Africa, which I thought was really cool. So I remember that kind of stood out to me. But Sebastian's really kind. Ah, I used to own wood ducks and mandarin ducks when I was a kid. The food from the berry bakery are so good. Uh, I need to change that to is so good. Ah, welcome to the memorial pond. I'm Ranger Sebastian, in charge of taking care of the mallards here, as well as the memorial gazebo. Let's see. And yeah, he'll, he'll talk about quite a few things, and so will Ashley. Poor Cinnamon. It was so sad at her. I was so sad at her death. I know, Ashley. It was so hard. There's Louie. But I love that this area is alive again. It's got ducks roaming around it. It's got lily pads. It's got like little water lilies. I need to get more water lilies. And it's got nest. So it's kind of nesting season right now for ducks in real life. But I think that we've got plenty of ducks at the moment. There's Dewey. There is Sir Quack or Mr. Quackenstein. Yes, that's Mr. Quackenstein. But we'll have to see if the ducks decide to go into breeding season again or not. Since we're a year-round series, what we might start doing, and let me know if you guys think this is cool, is when the breeding season for our various 
animals in the zoo comes up, then you guys can step in again and help me so we can do research on setting up our animals' proper habitats and getting more animals born in our zoo. So I think that would be really fun. You guys helped amazingly with the ducks. And now I think we need to start working on quite a few other species. And even if uh, we have a lot of abundance of animals breeding, we can send them to other Minecraft zoos or we'd be able to release them into the wild. And if we get a lot of a certain type, like a lot of lions, we might even build a nature preserve, not just an exhibit in the zoo, but an actual nature preserve to uh, like put the animals safely away. And finally, this is Ranger Rise, and he doesn't ha he's more dedicated to like taking care of the planting of things, making sure the maintenance of the water lilies and the water reeds and everything goes very well. Uh, in fact, I think I might need to speak with him about getting some samples for him of the, the underwater grass because the mallards, when they are babies, when they're little ducklings, they are primarily insectivores. And the word insectivore means that you eat mostly insects. And so when the babies are, are freshly hatched, they primarily feed on insects. But as the ducks get older, they eat different things throughout the year. They really fatten up on fish and snails and other insects. And water, water plants like these guys, see these things right here. They fatten up on those during the year right before they get ready for their migrations. And if the ducks are going to migrate, they need to put on 30 to 50% more of their body weight. So very important. Oh, these are really cute. Is that just a little kelp? What is this? Oh, I don't want to bad break it. Where's my shears? Okay. <gasps> I forgot what I put here. Puppies! What was that nonsense about? Oh, it's the green giant kelp. Oh, that's that makes a good like low level, low level thing. Puppies, <laughs> you guys can fish, just don't get the big fish, okay? But yes, yeah, so Ranger Rise actually focuses on doing those kinds of water plants and making sure that the wetlands plant health is very good. So I might actually work with him to change this from a birch forest biome to maybe a wetlands biome. We'll think about it. I think it works okay as a birch biome and a park because a lot of mallards, I'm sure you guys have seen ducks in parks before too. And actually, I hope you guys know, and I'll put a link to the vlog that I did ages ago. I think it was last year this time. Don't ever feed ducks bread. It is very bad for them. It can give them a condition called angel wing, and it's just totally unhealthy. So don't feed ducks bread. Feed them sliced grapes, shredded carrot, sliced up uh, like bits of lettuce. They really seem to love the lettuce because I would throw the lettuce on the water, and they would just like rush after it. So, oops, come on, guys. No, 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 no. Get away from, oh, dear, Iris is stuck under a lily pad. Iris! Oh, you naughty pup pups. All right, come here, everybody. Let's get a little bit of pork chop. And then, oh, good job, Tate. Oh, oh, that was Pine following in his daddy's footsteps. Tate, there you go, boy. All right, so let's meet Rise. I keep getting excited about the cattails and not actually speaking with Rise. Did you guys know that you can make like so many things out of cattails? I'm sure I've talked about it before, but you can turn these puppies into flour. You can like take the fluff and use it as insulation. You can take the reeds and make like building material, weaving it together for all sorts of stuff. I th what was it called? Oh yeah, I read an article where they called it uh, among the Boy Scouts, the grocery store supermarket or like the supermarket of the wild and it was just such a cool article I'll have to teach you guys some more about the amazing cattails like rice rice he vanished rice oh there you are ranger rice so this is ranger rice and he'll tell you a lot about ducks as well but he also works um he also works with just like making sure the wetlands plants are okay for our wonderful memorial park and so you can bring him cattails and he'll give you gold coins or you can give him gold coins and he'll give you cattails so it really works out wonderfully that way you can bring him some mud and he will give you some coins for mud and you can also bring him the wild lettuce the plant mega pack lettuce that you can get and that's just the variety of lettuce that I decided would be healthier for the ducks to eat so you can bring him some of 
that lettuce, and he will give you coins too. But if you bring bread around his ducks, he gets really upset. He just like, that's his angry pile of ashes thing. Just like if you bring Daisy over in the dove aviary a fried egg, because she loves collecting eggs and raising birds, so she'll give you another pile of ashes because she's so upset at you. And you can also come to him and you can give him coins to get special feathers. I need to rename these so they don't say brown penguin feather, they say mallard feathers. Striped, brown striped mallard feather. Brown mallard feather. So it's a little bit of imagination and a nifty animal renaming tool that opens up so many things you can do in this world. But all Rise has to fight with is a water lily, so, or a water cattail, so I don't know how effective he'd be. But I think we need to test Ashley. I think we need to test her resolve at protecting our ducks. So I think we need to go get something. All right, let me see what I've got, y'all. Let me get my little sword out. I need a hat again. I really need my hat back. And let me get out a safari net or two. That's so cute that I was brought a fish. So there we go. All right. Oh, oh, um, this works, I guess. All right, Ashley. Are you gonna get him? Oh gracious, I think we need to help Ashley on this one, but she is definitely going for him. Uh, hang on, oh, Ashley will be back in just a second. Ah, she was hurt, she has to go back to the clinic, fudge knuckles. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I think it was unfair to force Ashley, there she is, she just had to take a breather for a second. I think it was a little unfair to force Ashley to face a werewolf as her first battle. So, whoops. So let's go try to find her something more likely to show up to try to eat our ducks. I don't know if the, the werewolves are usually out for my flesh, not so much uh, the duck ducks. So let's see. Wow, we really need to light this area up. But now that Mara is here and she's going to help develop so much of the town, it should be pretty, pretty fun. All right, let's see. All right, you guys see anything? Sniff out something easy for them to, to practice on. Okay, pup pups? Let's see, is there like a zombie or just like, there's an elephant, but the elephant's fine. Um, hmm. I'm worried we're going to wander too far and all of a sudden be surrounded by hostile mobs. Like they're waiting to ambush us. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, like that. Lily, I kind of need him. Okay, Lily, let's try with the creeper. Uh, maybe the, they'll be able to fight the creeper off. He won't be able to hurt our hedges because he can't really hurt anything. We have very weak creepers in our world. All right, so let's go test this and let's go see what Ranger Ashley does. So let's go on the inside of the fence. All right, Ranger Ashley, I'm going to go on the inside and release him on the outside. And then I'm going to back up. Dang it! Bad creeper! Uh, that test failed again, too. This is my fault, though, because I'm not bringing back the right test subject. I just need, like, a plain Jane Zombino. I hope they're not in the village bothering my villagers. Everyone takes refuge all the time. Oh, there's an Enderman. I'm going to leave him be. I have a few of his brothers locked in my stasis chamber for future mob exhibits. That's a panther, it's fine. Let's see. This is a cute little pond. Oh, it's very lovely. Pup pups. Yeah, that's just the panther. Here's some warm carrot soup. Lily, do you smell anything? Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have to take Ashley's very brave attempts at fighting back the evils of that werewolf as the example that we need to know that she's gonna take good care of our animals because it's actually pretty peaceful out here, which makes me happy. It makes me happy for the, the villagers, you know? And I think it's turning day. So, all right. I think that everybody's going to be okay in that duck exhibit. And they're really going to be okay because of some of the structural changes we have made going around. Oh, yeah, I forget how this is a wallowing pit for all the pigus, which is pretty funny. But we made some structural changes to the bridge, which you guys probably noticed. And that is because all the ducks were drowning. Oh, look at that. So pretty. 
And we realized if we got all of the pillars up off the water, then the ducks were no longer getting caught under the water, uh, like even the one that was right here. If we had any pillars down there, the ducks would get stuck under it and they would die. And it was very sad. It was so sad, Tulip, the duck. So now the bridge is kind of like a little bit weirder because it goes up higher, but it gives you a nice view of everything. So I'm actually pretty content with it. And one of the things I think we need to do is we need to come over here and clear out kind of this little messy area, not the, um, the cattails, but the area right behind it. Hi, and you're so skinny. Here's a good pup pup. I love having the puppies with me. I used to think having four of them at my heels would be kind of confusing, but I'm getting used to it. But I think we should come over here and kind of like clean this area up and turn it into like a little a little um, picnic area so that people can just sit and listen to the ducks and look around. It can be like a little waste. Pine, why do we keep looking at your, oh, your rump? It, but it could be like a little way station for people coming out of the village and they can just come and kind of rest over here and have a little picnic area. And I was thinking we could even set up a cute little food stall where someone could sell geishals. They could, not like the actual geishals, but they could sell, um, let's see, like geishal cake or maybe the geishal raw pickles, uh, which I thought would be really cute. Or maybe they could sell pink and red geishals. So I'm excited about that. And I'm also working on our geishal fields because I want to make a certain somebody her own golden chocobo. And we also have another mystery person who dropped an anvil on my head and broke my leaf hat <laughs> who will be joining us. So I'm thinking about uh, since we have such a small yield of golden geishals and I only have four left in my house, that we will expand our geishal uh, production so we can get more chocobos and especially more golden chocobos and i've even been thinking about selling my chocobos to other other people who have like their worlds or other minecraft servers or <laughs> i i think inter inter server interaction like that without actually having to do collabs is so much fun so i want to like extend this i think what we're going to do is make a really cute little bridge that goes straight across and then we're going to continue the geishal fields down under it and it'll come like right about here. So that'll be really fun. Look at my little pack of dogs. They're so good. I love all of you. I love all of you pup pups. So that's the plans, guys. Our duck rangers are here. They are protecting our ducks. That is absolutely freaking fantastic. And we have so many more plans. And we're going to have to get ready for a huge project tomorrow. Are you guys ready for this? It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a gigantic project to get Dr. Nami's underwater research center planned. And when I started looking at how much work there's going to be to get the underwater research center built, I am stunned at the level of work we're going to have to do and very excited. So I will see you guys tomorrow for our Saturday special. Bye-bye.